Mm, we are going to freeze to death. Hello guys, here we are once again in the middle of the nowhere just like the last time. Right now we are the, right next to the most beautiful Hungarian rail line, as they call it, in the Tsuha Valley in the uh, Bakony Mountains. Right now it's below freezing, so we are hoping to survive. This is really an awesome location. We have three rail light tunnels and two bridges. One of them is really tall and really uh, imposing, let's call it like that. We are hoping for the best. Right now, we are in midday. We haven't frozen yet, right? Right? But we need to hope that one of the <coughs> taverns or what is it called? Restaurants. Restaurants will be opened. Maybe. So we don't die by the time the train comes because there is only one train per hour per direction. So not too much, not too much. But so far, we are having a blast. So as you can see, we did not freeze to death, so that's gotta count for something. Anyway, this location is in the middle of the Bakoin Mountains, one of the best hiking trails that you can find around there. Coincidentally, it also does have a rail line, which is called uh, the most beautiful rail line in all of Hungary. Not sure if that's true or not, but it's uh, uh, for sure that it's, it's a quite remote location the temperature was not too nice to us that's why i didn't make a lot of videos out there because well how do i say i was worried about some frostbite on my hands so i tried to keep kept them warm so as i told you already the line like in between one kilometers it has three railway tunnels and two bridges. One bridge is quite small, not nothing big, but the other one is quite monumental. The line originally was built as uh, part of the mining op operations. However, there isn't any more mining there, so it's only for passenger travel. But the rail line was not updated really, a lot of uh, closed stations around it, which means that it's not a frequent uh, rail, line, rail line. So if you would like to take some uh, pictures and you want to include any trains, you will have to wait. Now, while you are hiking outside in the cold, that's not a problem, because as long as you are moving, you won't freeze and you won't be, feel, you won't be feeling cold. However, as soon as you need to stop, and well when there is one train per hour you need to stop a lot you will feel cold so that was something that we had to battle a lot but otherwise no complaints the location was just the way we imagined maybe some fog or some snowfall when we were out shooting could have helped but otherwise i have no complaints we found this location last year in the fall when we shot a lot of pictures there and the forest was like really colorful just the way uh, we wanted it however uh, one thing that i could not decide if i like the the autumn or fall shots or the snowy winter shots better that's something that i will ask you to write to me in the comments
but for 100% I can recommend this location if you are staying in Hungary for a longer duration. Uh, it's not that hard to, to reach this location, it takes two and a half hour by train from Budapest, you can either go from West Frame or from Győr. Uh, with car I think it's around two hours. <coughs> Both train stations that are close by are <coughs> pretty remote, so don't expect much. One of them only has one house which is owned by the local railway company. The other one has a, a, a summer school, one more camp, a tavern, a hotel and the restaurant, so really not much. But if you like hiking, the Chestnut Castle is near, so once again you gotta go there and see it for yourself. Until the next time, bye.